today as far as with I don't know if everyone would agree with me but when it comes to those of us who were of course originally not born here um, well yeah not born here but we were kind of migrated over here where your parents went ahead and they left their country for whatever political or financial reason, I don't know, whatever reason they left their country, you know, they decided, you know, they wanted to come over here to the United States. They left everything behind, houses, cars, you know, possessions, and they just said, okay, I'm buying a one-way ticket to come to the United States with my children, my child, or whatever. And they brought you over here. And... Originally, they brought you here because the United States is what was known, well, I would like to think it is still known, as a really great place to live. A really great place where there's freedom, where you have the ability to become whatever that you desire to be. You know, there's more opportunity to do anything that you really want compared to a lot of the other countries where, you know, things are decided for you or, you know, the things that you would want only comes to you if you've already got some money or you were bred into, you know, a family that has money. So you just kind of find yourself very, very limited. But when you come here to the United States, it's kind of like, you know, each one for his own. It depends on you. If you want to have this, then you can have it. If you work hard for it and you know how you can get it so for anyone who says I don't have this is not because you can't have it you can have it is just a matter of how you go about trying to get it so I was just kind of thinking I can say personally for me my parents moved here because they wanted a better opportunity and a better life for their children for me my sister and well my brother wasn't there but for me and my sister they wanted to be able to give us the best opportunities that we can possibly obtain and so I can definitely see how um, well, I can only really speak for my culture because that's the only culture that I truly do know so I can see how some of the other Haitian parents who also migrated here can feel so unhappy so depressed so maybe even sometimes just feel so embarrassed or just feel like them coming here is just point was just pointless when they have their child and they brought them here to be able to give them an opportunity that they did not have in their own country well some of them did but whatever but to be able to have a lifestyle that they can be able to obtain on their own and not have a government dictate what you can and can't have and when you're going to have it and for them to have come all this way and struggled from jump when they get here you know to be working in little places and doing little things in order to make some money to make a better life here to get themselves a little car a little house or whatever like that so that you can be able to succeed i can say you know they would go ahead and forfeit food you know nice you know decent clothes not even nice clothes just some regular decent clothes and just some decent things that they would like to have but they put that to the side because they're putting money away for you for your future to be able, so that you can make something of yourself so they can be proud of you you know so that they know that the whole entire reason that they made that move and came over here was so that you, not for themselves, but that you can have a better life. And they can be able to say, yeah, it was a very good, you know, it was a very good move because my child is, you know, it doesn't even have to be, oh, a doctor or a lawyer or all those big fancy things. But my child 
has a good education, my child has a degree, he, ha he or she has the money, they can be able to do for themselves a lot better than they would have done if they were in, you know, our original country. So I can definitely see how some of the Haitian parents could be just so embarrassed and so disappointed in their child to know that they came from so far just to find out that when their child, you know, gets of age and when they should be doing something beneficial or, or worthwhile, something productive with their life. Instead, you know, they're out in the street getting arrested, doing drugs or selling drugs. The girls are like sleeping with people from here to there and everywhere like a prostitute, you know, popping babies out here and there with no real, no real way of taking care of that child. You know, and it's just like, it's a disappointment. And I can see how they would think, you know what, if this was the case, then I would have just stayed my butt back where we were. And maybe at least then you you would have been in a better shape than you are now. And I just it's just so disappointing to know that you've done all that you could, that you left so much behind just for your child to have a better life. And when your child gets of age to have that life of their own, they fuck it up. You know, they're they're strung out on drugs, they're in jail. They're hanging around with the wrong group of people who keep getting them in trouble. You know, and it's just like, you know, they're not doing good in school. They're pissing away at school. <sighs> just, just a mess. So I can definitely feel how it's just like, come on. Why, why are you doing this? Like, seriously? If we were in our original country, would you have gotten into this stuff? And then they start to think, well... I should have left your ass where you were. So I can, uh, it's just frustrating when I see it because I'm just like, I just know how much, well, in my, from my position, I just know how much it was and how hard it was to just leave everything you know behind. Leave your house, leave your car, leave your friends, leave your family, everything that you knew behind to come to a completely new place where you're not sure exactly what the heck is going to happen? All you know is that you need to survive for your child because you want your child to have a better opportunity than what you had over there. And even if your opportunity was good over there, but somehow where you were, you just saw that there was a downfall that was coming through. Like in my case, and you're just like, you know what? I see this place is getting disgusting. This is not the kind of place that I really want my child to be in. They're not going to have any opportunities whatsoever. Things are going downhill, and I just want my child to at least have a decent opportunity like I had. So you left everything behind and came over here, and then when it's time, not, not I don't want it to sound the way it's going to come out, but when it's time for your child to pay up, they pay up by being strung out on drugs. They pay up by being a prostitute and a whore. They pay up by being a thief. Just, you know, they got you going in and out, taking them in and out of jail and all kinds of things. And you're just, you're just like, oh my God. Maybe I made a very, very terrible mistake. This is not, not what I was hoping for. <sighs> 